Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Drea, if you guys are returning. Thanks so much for coming back. Today's video is all about how to thicken your relaxed hair. I've gotten this question so, so many times in the comments, on Instagram and all that good stuff and that's totally okay but I thought I would go ahead and answer it in a video that way I can help the majority of you guys who are wondering that same question. What's up? Welcome back. Like I said before, this video is all about how to thicken your relaxed hair, um, any areas in which your hair has thinned out, how do you thicken it back, like all that good stuff. I've gotten, again, so many questions about that, so I just wanted to go ahead and answer it in video form to help you guys. So before we hop onto this video, be sure that you subscribe. That way you guys don't miss any further content from me. You can stay connected with moi and the rest of the community here on this channel. And then also be sure that you hit the notification bell down below as well. That way you guys are notified immediately whenever I post. And you guys will be the first ones to see the content so anyway let's hop on into the video so the first one is not going to be one that you're gonna think I'm gonna say and it's gonna it's gonna be trim your ends <laughs> so when it comes to trimming your ends, some of you guys may be like well how will that make your hair thicker at the end of the day like, okay back in college I had a friend who her ends were crazy split crazy damaged and whenever she was straightening her hair it looked like it was like her hair and like random pieces just hanging off the bottom of her hair and I'm like girl cut your freaking ends but anyway all that to say that will help your hair because it'll help it one by looking better in overall appearance after you cut it it'll all be even and thick and pretty and also that will help your hair not split up and then make your hair even thinner over time so you want to be sure that you're doing damage control beforehand and not afterwards you don't want to be like me having a whole setback because I let my ends get out of control so you want to be sure you're taking care of your your ends personally as you guys know maybe on my channel and I can make another video about this because my other one's kind of outdated but I do have a video about trimming um, dusting and search and destroy dusting your ends pretty much I'll do this it's dusting your ends is like cutting off this much of your hair where nobody will be able to tell the difference but however you are knocking out those split ends that are on the very bottom of your hair so I'll do that probably like every three months and then I'll also just every now and then I'll go and do search and destroy so if I'm sitting at my desk and I'm looking at my hair and I'm like oh dang it I'll grab my um, shears or whatever it's called for hair just make sure your scissors are specifically for hair and trimming your hair and not just like a regular old thing of scissors because that can actually cause more split ends but yeah I'll go and do search and destroy so that's pretty much like taking your hair and looking at like pieces if there's a dead end you just simply cut it off it's that simple and I do that just all around my hair if you cannot if your hair is not long enough to do that yet that's okay you could have somebody do that for you or that can be something you even just skip but overall that has helped me tremendously then also I'm sure to dust my ends now myself and then every six months I go and get a good good trim from my stylist whenever she does my relaxer as well so yes get your ends trim girl don't do it for the sake of trying to get your hair to a certain length or anything like that I promise you healthy hair will grow but if your hair is not healthy it's going to break it's going to be brittle it's gonna fall off like you just don't want any of that so be sure you're taking care of your ends that's the biggest thing I can say to you guys especially coming from where I just came from which was from a big setback when it came to my ends because I got lazy with my hair so y'all know how I feel about that one so be sure you take care of your ends so also I would say to incorporate coconut oil into your regimen y'all I if you have been following me on the channel as well you know I love coconut oil Oil. like coconut oil is bomb okay like I love love love, love coconut oil it's one of my top three oils my, fi my favorite oils are olive oil coconut oil and Jamaican black castor oil and those are like my top three those are the ones that have been with me from the jump from the very start of my hair care journey and I've seen tremendous improvements from my hair coconut oil is actually the most penetrable oil when it comes to your hair also coconut oil is amazing for prevention of um, protein loss so it will help you with that to be sure you're doing that and a lot of people are kind of afraid of the whole protein thing and applying too much and not knowing when to apply it and I apply too much blah, blah blah but what we're not realizing is that sometimes we are losing the protein that's in our hair so if you apply coconut oil it will help you tremendously it also helps with I think it's called hydro fatigue and I may have said that wrong but I will put it down here on the screen for you guys but y'all I love coconut oil and I think you should definitely incorporate it into your routine you can do it into your shampoos into your um, conditioners your co-washes anything you want to include it in but I personally use it for all of that as well I also will make like a little mixture of all my favorite oils I will moisturize and seal with it and I will have coconut oil in the sealant which is the oil mixture that I'll have and I'll apply that after my moisturizer so love coconut oil try it for yourself before some people do have um, like coconut sensitivity coconut oil sensitivities for their hair so I would definitely recommend do a, a spot test 24 hours spot test that way you can make sure you don't put it all over 
over your hair and then something bad happens. So I would say like do a little spot test right there or something. See how your hair reacts and then if it if it acts right, honey, you better incorporate that coconut oil. So also I say incorporate Jamaican black castor oil. This is probably the number one. Whenever somebody, um, cause okay, whenever somebody asks me, hey Drea, like I'm struggling with like my hair is thin, my edges are thin, you know, there's a portion of my hair that fell off or is breaking off or um, just something is thin or whatever, just thinness, immediately I go Jamaican black castor oil. And the reason I do that is because for me, even just regular castor oil, um, but Jamaican black castor oil uh, keeps most of the um, ingredients or if you just did one or the nutrients because of the dark bottle. So just make sure you get a castor oil with a dark bottle. But before I was using one that wasn't a dark bottle and it still worked. So that's honestly your preference. However, the Jamaican black castor oil or a castor nut, a castor nut oil <laughs> or a castor oil that is um, in a darker bottle will have and maintain the majority of the ingredients that you're needing and the nutrients that you're needing in your hair. So anyway, when I tell y'all I saw my hair thickened up so much because of castor oil, like so, so much. Like my strands, whenever I first started my hair journey, I remember looking at my hair and I didn't realize at the time it was thin until I started using castor oil. And when I saw how my strands were super thick and how they were looking because of it, I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely yes. So how you can apply castor oil is, as well as coconut oil, you can put it into your shampoos. Well, not your shampoos, not your shampoos. But you can put it into your conditioners or your co-washes, mix it in within your products and stuff like that. And then also I apply it overnight sometimes. And then as well as that, I also go in and I will put a little moisturize and I will seal with coconut oil or castor oil in a mixture of like all the other oils that I like, or I'll just take the Jamaican black castor oil and do it myself or do it by itself. What I will say about Jamaican black castor oil is that it is thick and it does have a very like woodsy, like can't forget type of smell. So just keep that in mind. But if you mix it with lavender oil, I do get the one that has lavender already in it, but you can also mix it with lavender oil. But then I mix it with coconut oil and all and olive oil and sometimes avocado oil and any other oils that I have to help loosen it up and help it not be so thick. Cause it is y'all, it is thick. Okay, thick. Okay, so my next tip is to stretch your relaxers. I say this all the time as well. I feel like all these tips I say all the time on my channel. I'm just putting it all in one video now. But I would say biggest thing is to stretch your relaxer. If you are currently relaxing your hair every eight weeks, look to stretch it every 10 weeks and then every 12 and then every 14. I would say the minimum Personally, you really should be pushing for, I would say 13 to 15 weeks for a relaxer. I would say that's the initial goal. Now me personally, I only get relaxers um, twice a year and that's what works for my hair and that's what has worked for my hair and it has shown some tremendous benefits as well as still having relaxed hair, but also it not being like either bone straight or over processing or anything like that. So it's all dependent on your hair, but I would definitely say you should not be relaxed. The minimum I would say is like 12 to 14 weeks. That's the minimum I believe that you should be relaxing your hair and that's just my own preference in my opinion based on my hair and people that I've helped with their hair so that's what I would say stretch your relaxers it also can um it, it'll just help you tremendously it'll it'll help you so much so when it comes to stretching your relaxers I also say avoid over processing your hair and so this also kind of goes hand in hand with stretching your relaxers because if you're not stretching your relaxer too much you may be over processing your hair because you're relaxing hair that has already been relaxed <laughs> you haven't given it time to um be able to breathe but then also be able to grow out to have something to relax if that makes sense so be sure you're not over processing your hair. Over processing just means like applying relaxer to hair that's already been processed by a relaxer or by like, yeah, by a relaxer. So um, I would definitely say be wary of that. Make sure you don't do that. But also in the process of over processing, be sure that you are coating your ends whenever you are getting um, relaxers or, ever, or whenever you're getting like a chemical treatment, stuff like that. You want to make sure that like if it's a texturizer, relaxer, anything like that, you want to make sure you are coating your ends and the hair that is already relaxed because the relaxer will slide off the end of your hair and it could risk it being processed as well so be sure that if you're styling your hair or, or if you're relaxing your hair or if your stylist is relaxing your hair whoever just be sure that your hair is coated well honestly I recommend you even do it before you got to the stylist that way if they didn't do it or they didn't see the need to do it um you didn't have to worry about it so go ahead and coat your hair coat it really really well and that way the relaxer will slide right off and it will not penetrate your hair and not even really touch your hair to be processed in the end of the day like yes it will slide down but it won't like really affect it if it's coated you know what I mean so the next question is probably like okay Dre well what do I coat it with okay so pretty much you're gonna coat it with either Vaseline or you can coat it with castor oil most of the time I do castor oil just because honestly I always have castor oil in my hair it feels like so I just apply a little extra you can use Vaseline but that's something that you would have I would have to truly think about that as in like oh today I'm gonna relax or I have to apply Vaseline but for me I always have castor oil in my hair so that's what works for me it's just to apply a little bit more castor oil I'm gonna make it work like 
like that. But if you don't have castor oil, don't worry. You can definitely apply Vaseline and trust, ain't nothing getting through that, okay? Nothing. So whatever you want, you can apply both of them. I'm sorry my lighting is changing because I'm filming in front of natural lighting. So it'll go back up in a minute. But anyway, so that's what I say about that. So the next thing I would say, be sure that you are getting a light protein in every single week. You wanna be sure that you're doing that. So whether that's through a the carrot or the Afigy, the keratin two minute reconstructor, I've used that from probably the jump since I started my hair care journey. Um, you can use that. I use it for five minutes. So sorry y'all, the lighting's changing again. So whatever. Anyway, um, that's what I use and it works really well for me. Or I love the Jamaican black castor oil. It's like a hair mask by Shea Moisture. Love that stuff. It's great. It's moisturizing as well as protein. And it's awesome for that. So you can use that or you can use the ORS. Um, what is it called? It's, um, I always forget the one, but it's the one in the yellow bottle. It's like the moisturizing. It's not it. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. So don't worry about it. So yeah, I would just say make sure you're getting your protein in whether you want to do it like an all approach where it, you do a light protein treatment and you know you really focus on that and then you also maintain moisture balance however you want to do it whatever works for your hair but I definitely recommend you be sure you're getting your protein in because our hair especially relaxed girls and relaxed um, hair needs needs protein all right it needs protein so be sure you're not starving your hair of that i know some of you guys may have heard bad things about protein because at the end of the day any good it too much of any good thing is bad so too much of protein is bad too much of moisture is bad without the opposite so just be sure you're maintaining the two and really looking after the two but don't be afraid to apply your protein you need your protein girl you need your protein all right and then monthly i do a protein treatment i still use the ors hair mayonnaise and i do that every single month just to make sure my hair is nice and strong um i have been using something else but I'm not going to share it with you guys yet just in case just in case y'all know I don't share anything with you guys until I have like foolproofed it to make sure my hair didn't fall out because of it I'm not going to tell y'all something that I haven't tried out I usually tried it for like four months so be looking out for a video soon because I'm pretty sure I'm going to share it with you guys very soon about what I've been doing to my hair to um, help get more growth and thickness so but for now be sure you get your protein um, and stuff like that all right y'all so that's pretty much it I hope this video was helpful for you guys I know this has been a question that has been so asked on my channel so I definitely just wanted to be sure that I came and talked to it about it with you guys if you have any other questions let me know down below in the comments so yeah and then also I do have a hair care calendar for you guys if you have checked it out um, if you have not checked it out the link is down below in the description box that is completely free for you guys to check out um, it is my, literally my regimen and my hair care journey everything like that it is listed out in a Google um, calendar that way when I change something to my regimen y'all immediately know as well and you don't have to wait for me to make a video or update a post or anything like that you just know automatically this is what I'm doing for my hair this is new products I've been trying stuff like that now like I said I never give you guys like my up like if I just am I if I'm just not trying something out I'm not gonna share it with you guys because I want to make sure it works for my hair and it doesn't break my hair out or have adverse reactions before I share it with you guys so anyway I would rather sacrifice my hair than all of y'all's hair okay so anyway thank you guys so much for watching check out those links down below in the description box you can also shop my favorite hair care products down below as well at the Amazon link because I get everything from Amazon because I love Amazon. So anyway, check all that stuff out down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure you subscribe. Bye.